Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update June 28th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. This is episode 556 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit in my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, the Lotus Casebook announces its cast of Cheng Yi, Joseph Cheng, and Ero Xiao. Song of the Moon releases an update, two Vinjangs for the price of one teaser. Jackie Chan says he once cried on set after being scolded by the director. And Jenna Jin and Wang Anyu refute rumors of romance. But first, here's what's recently premiered, just the one drama for today and yesterday. There's The Ugly Queen Season 2, also known as My Fair Lady Zhong Wu Yan, a costume drama starring Maggie Huang and Ren Dongling. It premiered yesterday, June 27th. According to Baidu, the drama follows the titular Zhong Wu Yan, played by Maggie Huang, who gives birth to a quote-unquote freak prince. It is a sequel to the 2018 drama The Ugly Queen starring Gavin Gao. Slated for 24 episodes, My Fair Lady Zhong Wu Yan is available on YouTube with English subs, but they're auto-translated. And that's it for recently premiered dramas. Just a reminder for those of you waiting for it, Zhao Liying's The Story of Sing Fu premieres tomorrow, June 29th. I'll update again on it in my next episode. Moving on, drama announcements and bootings, and we begin with The Lotus Casebook. The Lotus Casebook officially announced itself on Weibo on June 25th and shared some pictures from their booting ceremony on the 26th. The IGE costume drama's lead cast are pictured here. Cheng Yi, Joseph Cheng, and Ero Xiao. The female lead not in the picture is Chen Duling. The drama also released their first batch of character posters. According to Baidu, Cheng Yi plays the titular Li Lianhua, a famous traveling doctor who roams the countryside. He joins Joseph Cheng's character, a passionate young master who dreams of fighting for justice and peace. And Ero Xiao's character, a man described as having no interest in the pugilistic world as they solve cases and forge a deep friendship. I kind of touched on this drama a couple of episodes ago when I updated on a little dust-up that happened on set, remember that? It was when the set manager got into it with the paparazzo, and Cheng Yi tried to stop them before he was pulled away by his assistant. Anyway, Cheng Yi is a busy actor these days. It seems like he's jumping from production to production, and he has like 8 dramas coming up, one of which is Immortal Samsara with Yang Zi. He was last in this year's The Imperial Age, where he had a supporting role as a young Zhu Di. Joseph Cheng last starred in the recently aired Heroes, whereas Ero Xiao was in The Blue Whisper. Another drama that recently announced itself is Tibetan Sea Flower. Starring Edward Zhang and Janice Mann, Tibetan Sea Flower announced itself and its cast on June 20th. The drama is part of the Lost Tomb franchise. Other titles in the series include Ultimate Note and Tomb of the Sea. This time round, Edward Zhang plays the role of Wu Xie, the iconic Tomb Raider. Others who have played this role include Joseph Cheng and Qing Hao. In this installment, Wu Xie travels to Nepal and gets involved with the mysterious Zhang family. Janice Mann plays one of the members of that family. Next up for drama updates, a word on William Chan's A Date with the Future. A Date with the Future stars William Chan and Zhang Ronan, and on June 20th, they released this new poster. They followed that up the next day with a trailer which can be viewed on YouTube. The drama started filming in November last year and wrapped in April. It follows a romance which develops between a firefighter played by William Chan and a journalist played by Zhang Ronan. With the help of a rescue dog, William's character rescues Chang Ronans from the rubble after an earthquake. Ten years later, she returns from overseas as a journalist and an international dog trainer, and they reunite at the scene of the rescue. William Chan last starred in last year's Novoland Pearl Eclipse, whereas Chang Ronan was in the recently aired Defying the Storm. 
And lastly, for drama updates, Song of the Moon recently shared two new teasers. They're both about a minute long and came out on June 24th. Song of the Moon is a costume fantasy drama starring Vin Zhang and Xu Lu. It follows a wealthy heiress, played by Xu Lu, who gets embroiled in a battle between immortals and demons, and in the process gets romantically involved with a mysterious cloaked immortal, played by Vin Zhang. The supporting cast includes Wang Yushuo, Zheng He Huizi, and Taiwanese-Canadian singer and actor Riley Wang. In the first teaser, Vin Zhang's character gives Xu Lu what looks like a pearl bracelet. When she goes in to hug him, he turns into petals. In the second teaser, there are two Vin Zhang characters seated across from each other, one dressed in white, the other in black. The black one says to the white, Don't dodge it anymore, you and I both know that she is my destiny. And that's it for drama updates, moving on, celebrity updates, and we begin with Jackie Chan. Here is an 8 Days article by Ainslin Lim titled, Jackie Chan once cried on set after being scolded by a director. He revealed this and more anecdotes on his first live stream. 68-year-old Jackie Chan did his first ever live stream event this past weekend. It garnered a whopping 5.4 million views. During it, he recalled a memorable incident from a film shoot in the past, and no, it had nothing to do with a stunt or broken bones or anything like that, it had to do with his hair. As the article describes it, back when he was fresh-faced and only had a minor role as a martial arts acrobat artist, Jackie once flipped his hair when filming behind a female lead. That particular action was too flamboyant in the eyes of the director, who lashed out at him. Why did you flip your hair? What are you trying to do? Why are you trying to steal the female lead's limelight? The director yelled. Jackie was doing this thing, you know. I mean, I have no hair to show it, but you know what I mean, like in shampoo commercials. Anyway, the director then chased Jackie out of the set in front of everyone. Jackie recounted that he couldn't hold back tears and broke down on the spot. He was only 16 at the time. Besides sharing personal stories on the live stream, Jackie also interacted with other celebs like Hong Kong artists Nicholas Se and Joey Young. He also invited Huang Zitao, who co-starred with him in the 2016 action movie Railroad Tigers. Jackie doted on the young singer-actor, saying that he didn't just regard him as a junior, but rather a son that he loved. Tao was so touched, he turned away from the camera to wipe his tears. Moving on, Jenna Jin and Wang Anyu have come forward to refute rumors linking them romantically. This Sena Entertainment article published earlier today quoted them as saying, Hope the rumors will stop with the wise. According to the article, recently some paparazzi taken pictures of Jenna Jin and Wang Anyu returning to the same complex after dinner hit social media. This sparked rumors of their romance. Earlier today, Jenna Jin's studio released a statement to deny those rumors, explaining, among other things, that she met Wang Anyu at a friend's party. After that, the two shared a ride because he did not drive. She says that the driver dropped her off and that Wang Anyu did not stay and was driven home by the driver. She also said that she and Wang Anyu became friends when they collaborated on Falling Into You, an upcoming sports drama the two star in. And all the online gossip of going to Jinna Jin's complex alone and going home together are all just rumors. Wang Anyu's company also issued a statement of his own, scolding marketing accounts for spreading rumors. He says he hopes the rumors will stop with the wise. As Jinna Jin said, the two collaborated on Falling Into You, the sports drama wrapped filming in April. As Baidu explains it, the drama tells the story of an assistant coach, played by Jinna Jin, who discovers a young man, played by Wang Anyu, who's full of athletic potential, and they both realize their track and field dreams together. At the same time, a romance blossoms. And lastly, for the celebrity segment, an update of the happiest kind. I would know as I just went through it. The announcement that a baby is on the way. After their wedding about three months ago, Sonia Jin and Hyunbin are expecting. Sonia Jin announced that much on her Instagram account yesterday. How are you all doing? I'm doing well. 
Today, I would like to share with you some cautious and happy news. She begins. A new life has come to us. I'm still stunned, but I'm living day by day, feeling the changes in my body amidst worries and excitement. I'm so grateful, but I'm so careful that I haven't been able to tell the people around me yet. To the fans and those around us who have been waiting for this news as much as us, we deliver the news before it's too late. We will protect the precious life that has come to us. I hope you all stay healthy by taking good care of the things you need to protect in your life. Congratulations to the family of three to be. Hyunbin and Son Jin became a real-to-real -real couple after they collaborated on the set of the 2019 hit drama Crash Landing on You. On that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Mark Is At. So the title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following two dramas. I'm on episode 5 of Ordinary Greatness starring Chang Ro-yun and Bai Lu. I'm watching it on IQ.com where it's available with English subs. And I'm on episode 30 of A Dream of Splendor starring Crystal Liu and Chen Xiao. I'm watching it on WeTV where it's available with English subs. And that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At? It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with a dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!